When we last met Rory McElroy, he was getting a bird's eye view of Dubai from a hot air balloon. An exhilarating ride for a young man for whom it seems the sky is the limit. But up there, he was somewhat out of his comfort zone. A lot happier on the ground. I was, uh, yeah, a little apprehensive about going up on the balloon and uh, I've done it once, I'll probably never do it again. Dubai has a special place in Rory's heart as he registered his first professional win at the Dubai Desert Classic in 2009. It also hosts his favourite restaurant, MJ Steakhouse, where the youngster had the chance to learn some culinary skills. At 21, he's been too busy with his golf to get into the cooking, but here he was in full chef's dress and poised to serve up beef wellington. I can boil an egg and beans on toast is... I'm pretty good at that, but um, beef wellington might be a little bit too complicated for me. I might need a little bit of help. You could say it's something of a contra deal for Dubai, as Rory has been helping the region develop its golf programs. I'm sure that I've you know, helped in some way, um, but if I can help in any way to, to promote golf and develop golf here in, in the UAE, then it's, you know, it's a great thing. And uh, you know, it's an up-and-coming you know, golf destination. They've got great golf courses here, and obviously beautiful weather and um, you know, perfect conditions to play golf. So I wouldn't be surprised if they, uh, if they produce some really good golfers in the next few years. And what a treat for some of the youngsters who may be competing alongside him in future. Ready to taste some of Rory's cooking were a few of Dubai's best players. And while the kids were given the day off school to meet their hero, Rory was never so lucky. Mind you, that didn't stop him sneaking off to the golf course. I usually wasn't telling my mum and dad that I was taking the day off school. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. You know, you really, you know, my mum and dad were really supportive because, you know, it's what I wanted to do. I wanted to become a professional golfer. It was it was never their dream, it was mine. And uh, they supported me 100%. And, uh, you know, if parents are, are supportive of their kids and, you know, want, you know, let their kids follow their dreams, you know, it's, you know, it's fantastic. And uh, getting a little older, you sort of realise the sacrifices that your mum and dad make for you and, you know, you really appreciate it. So, back to the cooking. What was the verdict from the chef on Rory's Beef Wellington? It was quite interesting, actually. Uh, Roy's, uh, Roy's uh, Wellington is much better than my tea up on the golf course, so uh, he did all right. Despite one victory, Rory found his first year on the PGA Tour a little hard to swallow and has chosen to play 2011 back in Europe. I find myself sometimes in America this year not really... You know, not wanting to be there is not the right way to put it, but... Um, probably preferring to be back in Europe or back home you know I, I probably just got a little homesick you look at the best players in the world now you know they're all playing in Europe and you know a few years ago if you wanted to become one of the best players in the world you needed to play in America but nowadays it doesn't look as if you have to um, you know Lee's got to number one in the world without having a PGA Tour card and you know if, if he can do that and play so well then there's no reason why we can't as well so um, you know he's been a big part of, of why I've I've decided just to stay in Europe and uh, you know, I think it'll be very interesting to see you know, where European golf goes and, and um, you know, just how strong it can be. Looks good, doesn't it? No.